Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to another one of these uh, YouTube videos for Kami Kyodai here. And you know, just uh, welcome, welcome, uh, one and all. Today we're going to fold the cube octahedron on a single triangle. So let's just get right into it. So I'm just doing guerrilla style videos now, just recording from my phone, top down, and all I have is a tripod and a place and a table. That's all we got. And with paper, that's all we need, baby. That's right. Ain't nothing but a G thing and all that nonsense. All right, a little reference here and there. So we're gonna need first and foremost a an equilateral triangle rectangle. An equilateral triangle, sorry, an equilateral triangle. So we start by having a rectangle with a piece of paper here. I fold it in half. I then take my corner and I bring that corner down to the line like that. So I call this a slider. Yeah. So the idea is that I'm sliding this point. I'm sliding that point across this line. That's where it slides. And whoop, so it slides, hits there. Now I turn over. I have this. I'm going to take this remainder and fold it onto this line. Like so. And so this is the construction of an equilateral triangle, as you can see there. This is the equilateral triangle, we're going to cut this out. So here we're going to turn this up, like this, weaken the fibers a little bit, cut this off. I use my fingers like really tight together to get the first rip. After the first rip is established, the rest of it is just traveling. Just like that, just traveling, traveling. So again, I'm gonna do it on the other side. Here's rip, and now traveling. Oh, a little bit too much travel in there. Get back in the game, and so we're off. Now it's just a matter of sliding on the line, sliding, here we go. That one's off. Now the big line, this is the easier one because there's so much excess that you can just hold it and rip it quite easily. Okay, so first things first, we already got the equilateral triangle, beautiful. So now of course we have these folds, so we know we, we only could use that and keep it clean, but sometimes I like to not take for granted that I have this fold already into it, because it really does depend. So what you can do if you don't have this fold, if you start with an equilateral triangle by itself, what you can do is just fold a single line like this, right? We fold one vertex to another. And now by virtue of this, you can actually now bring down this corner to there. You can do that now. So just, you know, imagining that you don't have this already. But if you do have this already, all you need to do now is just match. So I take the edge and I just match it to that fold. Now this one just matches. So they're all just matching. It's all pretty nice. So here's the tetrahedron. We've done this one before, we haven't done this before, but this is the easiest way of getting a tetrahedron. That's what it is. Now, next step is the octahedron that you get by doing this. And we're actually gonna get the cube octahedron. I'm sorry if I call it the octahedron at the beginning. We're actually gonna get the cube octahedron. So now I'm holding in half and half. Now you might seen you might have seen the, the other video before, you might not have seen it before, but there's another video out there that references the construction of an octahedron in a similar way. One more division, of course, that way would be to just have this and just change one of these lines into a mountain so that it does this. It does this thing. Well actually no, it could work more like like that, I guess, you know, you could you could make the case for it like that. More like this, yeah. This one we've already done in another video, but this is just to show you how the cube octahedron is in here. The, the octahedron, sorry, this is the octahedron. We have now four triangles around the vertex. This is how you get the 
So I called it like a little paper pot thing before. It's kind of simple. Next one, so yeah, we're here and we just fold it in half. So that was just a little detour. So we fold in half here. We fold in half here. So what I'm doing is I'm matching the edge to the line. So that, that's how I know it's half. Half, half. And so here it's just going to be, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, especially if you don't have your radial lines, but you're keeping an eye out for this line right there. So this line right here, you just have to match it to there, right? That's your reference. And from here, you know, you can just bring this down as well, pretty much. And so we repeat. And you know, the more lines we have, actually, this other step we did becomes redundant because we already have some references here and here. And you can see the fold is falling on the line. Now you have here. One more. This is the final one, so now it's. Okay, so now it's a matter of understanding the sequence. What is the sequence? Well, the sequence involves us having this as the base triangle, so everything's going to revolve around this, and then this hexagon right here is going to turn into a square pyramid, this. So it's this hexagon, it's this hexagon, and now I'm marking three lines because you get to choose where it's going to go. You get to choose where it's going to go. So you can have it be, you know, just regular style stuff, or you can go for crazy side stuff. So this is the side. So here what I'm doing is taking away these two and just putting them together and then just folding to the side. And so I get this. Here's my square pyramid. Again, here's how it looks. I'm taking away these two. So, you know, we're going to keep a balance. I would have to take away these two on this side. Now there are many ways to achieve this, so I'm going to leave this up as, a, as an exercise to the viewer. But of course, it doesn't hurt to actually do them one by one. And of course, like also, there's another better way of doing this. And actually, the, this is not the better way because, well, see, I'll show you the last one, and we'll see why the side view is not the best. The best, at least for me is to try and keep a, a central balance. So we're going to need to take away these two on the side. So it's this one that we're going to take away and this one that we're going to take away. So we're going to need to add this fold and this fold in order for this to crunch. So you can look at it like that, like with these. And this line comes together with this line, like so. Now, my phone is all the way up there, and that's the, the microphone, so I hope that you can listen properly. And we're, we're toppling in at like 30, 20 views per video, so thank you for those of you that are here. I appreciate it. I want to do more content for you, more fun stuff. But see, this is the benefit. Look at that. Look at how much better this pyramid looks, how much more balanced it is, how cooler. And also, look at all this excess paper that we have going up top here. If we went to the side as we did before, so like I did with this, with this side hustle thing. I did with this, then that shit. It just don't fly. It just don't fly the same. Because look at that. Look at all this excess paper that's laying down inside. 
Whereas in this way, the excess paper is outside, so a much better and cleaner approach. It just needs a little bit extra folding, a little extra loving. You see? So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to, I can appreciate now the sequence. I'm going to write this down as valleys. So here I need this line, I need that line, that line there as well, that line here as well, and so we're off. So I need, I'm gonna, this is what I call the double mountain technique. I establish two mountains. In this case, the mountains I'm selecting is this line and this line. So those are my two mountains that I'm selecting. I select one mountain, I select the other mountain, and I bring them together. Like so this is a double mountain technique. It's a great way of bisecting and just putting lines together. So you make the mountains and you bring them, and inside in between is gonna be a a valet. So like that, and of course, in order to get this proper, you're also going to need to take into account the pressure points. The pressure points are right there. That's the pressure point. This and this. These need to be within. So it's not enough for us to just sink these, you see? No. These points, when they're connected, we have to push them down. And also this has to go up. Admittedly, this this line must go up like that, and so then, and then we pop. So last one. We can unfold them, of course. Like We can fold all the lines we need, and then we finalize. But first, we have to establish the ground rules. We have to set up our experiment. We have to be clear as to where we want it to go. And so, here we go. Last one. After this, it's just smooth sink. I'm gonna to have to get into video editing. One one of these days, it's just gonna have it's just gonna become a necessity. And I'm gonna to have to edit videos and like think of thumbnails and all these clickbaity shit that you have to do on YouTube. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Dude. I think that I can just pump out new designs every now and again, hopefully for like 50 or to 100 views. And maybe that's the objective. Is it all about that? Is it just like this hunger for attention, or is it supposed to be this? enterprise in this like actual landscape of profit and, and uh, benefit and community or what what is the things that, what are the things that we value in this in this world in this digital and virtual landscape I don't know dude. but anyway we have this now once all of them are set up we have it like this so the sequence then requires us to understand that this sequence that the, the shapes are going triangle square triangle so you can see also on this triangle that all the edges of triangles, like this one has, one, two, and three have square pyramids. Stands to reason that this one right there, this is also going to be a square pyramid. So we start by sinking that within, like that. This gets sunk, this gets sunk, sunk. Now when we, oh shit, that's not, the sink is here. So we have there, there, and this one needs a little bit of help. There we go. And now these, you get to choose where they go. So this is just how I do it. I'm gonna actually look at the camera for this part. So you have it like this, right? Now the idea is that these, you can like fold that within the first one. Second one goes on top of it and that folds underneath it as well. Third one goes inside and then it sort of wraps itself around it. Yeah, it has to be has to be just right, so this actually is the crux of the matter. Oh, there we go.
So this is my single equilateral triangle cube octahedron. The cube octahedron system is four. That means this square, three, four, three. Around each vertex, the system completes. Four, three, four, three. If you look at another vertex, four, three, four, three, etc., etc. It's a nice little sequence, huh? It's not as volumetric as others, but you do actually get to see, well, if we didn't close it, you get to have a little thing. So here's how that would look. If you weren't closing it, you could simply just fold these back. You could fold this back. And finally this back. Well, you know, you get to have like a thing. There's some empty space inside of there, so maybe you could put something inside, maybe hide something, I don't know. Just an idea though. And of course this doesn't close as well as we had before, because now all this extra space is not something that can tuck, but rather something that's just like sticking out. You see what I mean? Or sticking in, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, so there you go, there's the cube octahedron for you. So I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you had some fun, I hope you learned something, and that uh, you enjoy making it. Let me know in the comments if this was to your liking, if you would like me to something. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. I guess you have to say that, but hey, yeah, I mean, it, it, I guess it helps me with things. I don't know why, but it, I guess it does, maybe. Is it about the feedback, right? They're designing the platform for me to say this and for you to interact with me in that way. But anyway single triangular cube octahedron. Take care guys, thank you.